What should you expect from Dylan Raiola, his first start as the guy at Nebraska? We'll talk about that right now. Before we do that, though, two things to tell y'all. One, subscribe to the On3 YouTube channel. Nebraska fans, y'all have been incredible at that, so thank you for that. Second, the hard count is brought to you by our friends over at Price Picks. They are helping us squeeze the ever-loving juice out of this college football season by maximizing our experience on Saturdays. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, Prize Picks Daily Fantasy super easy to use, safe withdrawal whenever you win, and with how you actually play Prize Picks, super straightforward, all right? They give you a board of projections. We play exclusively college football for when I say projections uh, of player stats. You pick the more or less on two or more players that gets you a lineup, you're ready to roll, and ready to have a good time on that Saturday. So we actually have some picks for you a little bit later in this segment as it pertains to Nebraska's offense. But going back to what I was mentioning before, Dylan Raiola. I think whenever you see all the stars that he had next to his name as a recruit, it's easy for us to get our expectations a little bit out of whack. Because you think, okay, well, he should be that high-quality player he was at the high school level his first day as a starting quarterback at Nebraska. I think what we need to talk about is, okay, what is going to be expected of him when it comes to the actual game plan for Matt Rule and company? His game plan and his, his need for Nebraska as the guy to start out, at least, is not to be Pat Mahomes. I know he looks like Pat Mahomes when he's got, you know, the number 15, he's got the sleeve and kind of the mannerisms. That's all well and good. And he may very well end up being someone that ends up, you know, putting up big numbers through the air for Nebraska towards the end of the season, maybe in game one. I don't know. But I don't think you're asking that of him from the jump. What you're asking of him is to give life to an offense that was extremely one-dimensional a season ago. And that's not to be disrespectful, but y'all, they scored less than 20 points a game. They had a interception rate of 6%. They had a completion percentage as a team with a revolving door at quarterback right around 52%. Five one-score losses. All five of those one-score losses, they, they failed to score over 20. Okay, so if you catch my drift here, all we're asking Dylan Raiola to do to win football games if we're in Nebraska is to take care of the ball, be efficient, and go to the right place with the football when your number is called upon to throw the ball. Because what I think Nebraska is going to do as a whole, we'll control the line of scrimmage, we'll run the football, we'll play good defense. Quarterback, just push the ball deep when we're asking you to. But outside of that, hit the check down. Be accurate in the quick game. Get us into a third manageable. All those things that sound sort of boring and maybe in some way to watch are boring, but I promise you, winning football games is not boring. That is what Dylan Rello brings to the table. The boring plays he can make for you is why you feel excited about him as a starting quarterback. So going back to expectations, we got to understand now, in this first start, there may be some growing pains. Okay, I'm not telling you Nebraska's not going to win the football game because they absolutely will. I think they will beat the heck out of UTEP, and Vegas thinks the same as well. However, if, if Dylan Rayola throws an interception or doesn't light it up through the air, Let's not be overly concerned because, again, that's not the goal for him in this game is to put up big numbers. The goal for him is to move the offense and to score touchdowns and to ultimately win the football game. That is the goal, all right? You don't get your final exam on the first day of school just like you're not giving Dylan Raiola probably as intense of a game plan as I think they'll give him when it gets to October, early November, and then maybe open up the offense more for him depending on how he progresses. So going back to what I was saying about prize picks now, if you're trying to gauge what to do in this football game, there's no passing yards number listed right now for Dylan Raiola, but there are two that stick out to me when it comes to receiving yards that I think will uh, be a pretty good opportunity for all of us. Thomas Fedoni, tied in for Nebraska. His projection is 28 and a half receiving yards. He, he hasn't had more than that uh more than one time out of his last five games. Now, again, I do think they'll be more dynamic throwing the football downfield. Me personally, I'm going to go less than that. Now, Jamal Banks is a transfer wide receiver from Wake Forest, a guy they are very excited about. He was given a single-digit jersey number. For those of y'all that don't know, Matt Rule makes you earn a single-digit jersey number. Like, like, you have to be an absolute dude to get that kind of a jersey number. He's going to wear number four this year. He's going to be a guy. He's going to be a guy. I think he's going to be a guy where they're going to have him uh, challenge vertically. I think he'll be a focal point for this offense, throwing the football downfield for Dylan Raiola. His number is 53 and a half receiving yards. Now, I'm going to take the more there 
And it might be on like two to three catches, but I do think that he ends up having uh, a day where he surpasses that total. And again, we're taking the more for the 53 and a half receiving yards for Jamal Banks. So again, with Dylan Riola, I love the fact that he's your guy. I love the fact you have committed to him. Again, now that Dylan Riola is your starting quarterback, my hope as you know, someone speaking to the Nebraska fan base right now, let's be patient. The expectations for him long-term, they should be high. I mean, there's a reason why you're excited to get him flipped from Georgia. There's also a reason Georgia wanted him. Kid's really talented. Kid's really good. However, the excitement with him is over the course of his career. Game one is game one. Take it as a jumping off point. Take it as one data point. Take it as a chance for him to build going forward. But ultimately, his job is to make the boring play, take care of the football, and win the ball game by moving the offense. So again, those are our prize picks plays. Want to make sure y'all hear this, though. If you use code HARDCOUNT, you get yourself $50 in promo funds when you play $5 in lineups. Again, that's that's prizepicks.com. Use code HARDCOUNT to support this show and to get yourself some promo funds to get started. And that's the lineup we like. Again, Thomas Fedoni, 28 and a half receiving yards. We're taking the less. Jamal Banks, 53 and a half receiving yards. We are taking the more. That's a lineup. Again, code hard count, $5 in lineups. Promo funds gets you to $50 there via our good friends over at Price Picks. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Subscribe on your way out. We're going to keep this party rolling, and we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.